can you use slicers with a group by function seems to be a common question. And you might wonder why. After all, group by is just a function. You might as well ask can you use slicers with sum or count or xlookup. But the thing is, everyone's treating group by as a replacement for pivot tables, which, as I said last week, it's not. But because of that perception, the question of whether it supports slicers seems to be an obvious one to ask. The answer to the question, by the way, is yes, and in this video, I'm going to show you how. Here's my data. It's in a table called sales. And here is my group by function. It's generating the total revenue for each flavour along with a grand total. The slicer can't be attached directly to the group by function. Instead, it gets attached to the table. So I'll go back to the data sheet, click anywhere in the table and select table, insert slicer. Because I want to filter based on customer location, I'll select customer location, click OK. And there's my slicer. I will move it over to the slicer sheet shortly, but before I do, I'll just move it out of the way so that it's not over the top of the table. And I'll just check it works just by clicking Chicago. So if I click Chicago, it's applied a filter to the table. And let's clear that filter. I then need to add a new column to the table, and this column will be used for the filtering. So I'll go up to H2. I can call this column anything, but I will call it filter. I'll probably end up hiding it anyway. Into H3, I need to enter in the following formula. I'm going to use the subtotal function. So I'll put equals subtotal open brackets. The first argument of the subtotal function is a number, and that number represents the type of calculation I want to do. Now, I want to do a count, so I could either choose 3 or 103. I'm going to choose 103, and the reason for that is 103 represents the count A function that ignores hidden or filtered values. And then I'll put my comma and I'll type A3. A3 is the range, or in this case, the single cell that will be counted. I could have selected any single cell on row three as long as it would never be empty. And the order ID is as good as any. So if I close the brackets and press enter, because this data is in a table, it copies that formula all the way down, but the other cells reference column A on that row. So how this works is that once the filter has been applied to the table via the slicer, let's just do that on Chicago. If the row is visible, subtotal returns one. If the row is hidden, it returns zero. The final step is to add the filter argument to the group by function. Before I do that, actually, I'll move the slicer to the other sheet. So select it, cut, go to the slicer sheet, paste, and position it where I want. The formula I want to edit is in A2, so I'll edit that. After the argument that's got three as its value, I'll type in three commas, and then I need to put the argument in for the filter array. And to do that, I'll go back to the data sheet, I'll click on filter and you'll notice if you look at the formula, it's put in sales headers filter and that needs to be sales all filter. So I'll just overtype headers with all. And then after the two closing brackets, I'll type equals one and press enter. To check that works, if I click on Atlanta, you can see that we've got a total of 400 broken down by chocolate and strawberry. And if we go and check the data, we have indeed got chocolate and strawberry and we've got a total of 400. So that is working. If I go back to the slicer, clear the filter, we've got all of our data. Finally, I'm going to go back to the data sheet and I'm going to hide column H and let's see if it still works. It does indeed. If you're wondering, by the way, 
why the slicer and the group by are on a different sheet to the data is because applying a slicer hides the entire row. And if I'd had the group by and the slicer on the same sheet, then some of that would have been hidden. Well, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel for more Excel tips and tricks. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. But until then, have an excellent day.